go ahead. Okay, thank you. So hello everyone. So I am Anupam. So basically I am the strategic business unit head of Brain Station 23. So today I am here to present one of our success story. So how we have automated one of the oldest company in Bangladesh. So this is a food and bakery manufacturing company. So we Brain Station, uh, we established in back in 2006. Currently, we have 678 developers, and we are in the market for the last 15 plus years. So do we, though we are in uh, from Bangladesh, but we have uh, like other partner companies around the world. So we can see. So we have existence in USA, Canada, Germany, Japan. So we are the partners of the like you can see. So like AWS, Microsoft. So here, and we are the only gold partner of Odoo in Bangladesh. So we, in Odoo, basically, we started our journey with Odoo back in 2016. So after that, so we are basically like growing the Bangladesh market. So and we are one of the leading app, uh, partner in the APAC. So and we are the only gold partner in Bangladesh. So we have like uh, besides our like solutions. So we also try to manage the quality. So we also focus on the certifications. So we have certifications in order 12, 13, 14. And like for the like last year, so like we have footprints in the like above industries. You can see we worked with the manufacturing industries, fashion, pharmaceuticals, jewelry, food and beverage, IT, and use and others. But our client base basically it is not related with in the Asia and in not in Bangladesh. So we have uh, worked uh, with the, like uh, like one of the biggest client in uh, Spain. So we have worked with Nath, Tuk Tuk, and we have like another company in Germ Germany. Basically, this is Brain Station 51. So we have implemented a solution in other like custom solution in the for the U.S. market also, and our rest of our in the in Bangladesh market. So in the community talk, so we are here with one of uh, our clients. So this is Agboria. So about Agboria, so Agboria is a, like 100 years old company in Bangladesh, and this is one of the oldest company in Bangladesh. So Agboria was basically established in 1911. So Agboria is a like very big, big, large group of companies. So Agboria has like 33 groups. So these are the like major concerns of Agburia. So basically, this is the Agburia Grand Hotel, bread, biscuit, and factory. So, but today we are here to basically represent the basically their food and bakery solutions. The problem context. So as you can see, so Agburia is in the market for the last hundred years back. So they were not using like any sort of solutions. They were basically an Excel-based company. So to basically automate this sort of company in a ERP and automate their total business process, basically it was a like big challenge for us. So the, basically the challenge start from basically like to convince them to automate and to convince them basically to come with auto. So because the concern was very natural, so basically to basically change the mind. So we successfully we changed the mind and then and then converted them to Odoo and ERP. So basically, their major uh, basically challenges they faced before uh, coming to the ERP. So there was like uh, their business was diversified around the country. So the collecting the demands from the various customers. So this was another uh, like uh, major challenge for them and to basically. Uh, like synchronize the orders and to distribute and manufacture those and to basically manage the like procurement inventory. This was the like major challenges. So why Akburia choose Odoo? So this was a like, uh, like good question for, so basically the user friendliness and the cost saving. So in Bangladesh and sent for the like APAC market. So the Odoo user license and the module cost is basically cheaper than this. So this is one of the like, uh, more, uh, like major reason why Agburia moved to Odoo uh, rather than any other customer or any, any other ERP. And uh, like standard features of Odoo, so basically we like sat with their management multiple times, we convinced so how Odoo is built in. So like with less customization, we can convert their uh, solutions. So 
this was like another uh, like major factor for uh, choosing Odoo for dark body solutions. So challenges in the use of Odoo. So as I mentioned, so the demand collection. So it was like major challenge for this because this whole order process was on Excel based, and when the salespeople they collect the demand from the market, and these then they hand over the demand to their basically dispatch sections. So this is the total order of the market today. And when the basically dispatch section receives those orders, so basically to synchronize the orders, multiple region-wise, route-wise, so it was a like major mess up for them to manage those in Excel. So this handover demand, and basically so to manage the supply chain, so when and how many products need to be basically in the inventory, in the raw material, finished goods, so these all were in manual. So with these solutions, so basically we also worked with their supply chain to like uh, always keep a keep team, uh, optimum inventory level and make the purchase, purchase uh, department more smoother. And for the sales forecasting and distribution part, so basically like how many basically products and like for the season and the like brand wise, so needs to be in the manufacturing zone and the inventory and how to distribute those. So basically these are the like major challenges for Agboria. So the value of the proposed solution, so this is the demand collection meetup, return management. So another uh, important part of Agboria solution was that return management, because since it was a, like FMCG uh, like industry, so like whenever they sold the products, so there was always a like backup from the market. So they have to manage the return efficiently because the return was some returns were like good, some returns were like scrap. So managing those returns and also to basically reconcile those uh, return with the invoice. So it was a like uh, like a good uh, like approach for them, and for the cash collection and the better management of working capital and integrated parties, manufacturing, and distribution management. OK, so solution. So how we basically make those challenges and how we basically proceed with Agburia. <coughs> so when basically we uh, basically own the project and convince them to uh, like move with Odo, so our business team, we basically visited them uh, like for seven, year, seven days. So we basically go through their whole business process, so how they are doing this, and our business team, so they gather all, they basically physically visited all the solutions from their like manufacturing inventory, how they disperse from their uh, in a disperse section. So all these things basically we physically visited those. And our business team, we design a solution, like keeping in mind auto, so with less customization, so how we can basically uh, give them a uh, like good flavor with less cost and to keep their like confidence level up so that basically they can uh, like have a good faith in the ERP solution. Because not only auto, because our main challenge also to keep in focus that they are like confident that their solution can be automated. So because their management was very much concerned. So, uh, when our business team basically we go through the process, so we found that basically they collect lots like the orders from the market. Their salespeople they basically roaming around the market and they basically in various districts and regions, so it is a like diverse areas. So when the salespeople basically they collect the orders, so we call it basically a demand. So basically they enter the process in the solution uh, like yeah or do. So all the demands are collected. So then basically the demands are gone to the basically dispatch, solution, dispatch department. So and when the dispatch department basically they like look for the, what are the available finished goods in the stock. So if there is not available finished goods, so they basically go for the manufacturing orders. And there is another beauty of Agboria is that the manufacturer products are not manufactured in a single unit, so there are multiple manufacturing units. So some products are uh, ma manufactured in one unit, and some are like in another unit. So based on this, we have to basically uh, develop another uh, like solution. So like how to map which products needs to be manufa manufactured in which sections. 
So when they basically get the uh, like manufacturing orders, so they basically with their bomb and all other routings, so the products are manufactured and they are basically stored in the finished goods. And from finished goods, they are basically transferred to the uh, dispatch section. So then the dispatch section basically uh, based on their demand or the sales order, so basically they dispatch those products. And another process in the, in the last part, so which is basically purchase and procurement. So when manufacturing department, basically they go for the uh, manufacturer. So basically they can also check which products needs to be buy and what are the basically reordering level. So they go for, uh, if there is any needs to buy, so they basically raise a, a purchase order. So which goes to the basically manage from the purchase department. And they basically procure, uh, like select the vendors and the vendors basically deliver to the like raw material sections. So basically this is how we designed a like solution and we had implemented it. Now I am going to the solutions. So basically for the uh, sales order, so you can see uh, there is after, uh, like under the like payment term, so you can see there is order type and route because since uh, this is FMCG, so their orders are uh, like their uh, their uh, orders are coming from multiple uh, like wings. Like one of them, like franchisee, they have franchisee. They have direct outlets in the market. They have like a random sales order. So we have segregated this uh, process like or uh, like order type. So there are four types of order, and for the route, so basically to manage. So in, from the which routes so or which orders are coming. So basically, this is the part. And the most complex part is that like they have like thousands of products. So in, in order, so basically we need to uh, create add an item, so we have to add by those. But we have uh, we have like added a new thing like generate lines. So basically when we click on the generate lines menu, so all the products basically are in the product list without clicking every line. And there is an update quantity, update lines quantity. So like when some, uh, when after generating the lines, all the products are here. And when we click on the update lines, so this all the products listed there, and update quantity basically all are fill up in zero. So what are the market uh, basically demand or the like sales order has taken from the market? So that just, they just basically input the quantity and just input the quantities and enter. So they can basically do it more faster way. And when they update, the sales order is generated. Only the basically quantities inputted, these lines are available there, but which are zero, these are not basically visible there. So this is a like uh, more uh, faster way to create a sales order. So after creating this sales order, so and like when you go to the basically demand summary, so after uh, like accumulating all the sales order, so we have demand summary. So in the order type, when we create a demand summary, we can select, so like how many orders we have taken from the agency or from the franchisee or from the outlets. So we, we, uh, like we select the order type and when we just generate, so we can see all the product list and they are basically total quantity. Okay, so after uh, basically uh, like generating the demand, so we go for the basically di uh, dispatch. So when we basically go for the dispatch, so basically we use the auto same process. We validate, we basically product deliver the products. But at the, day, at the end of the day, when salesperson come from the market, so they deliver these products, but if there is any scrap or any other like damaged products from the outlets, they also bring it to the like uh, dispatch solutions. So when basically if there is any damage or any other part, so uh, like, they input the, like the dispatch, dispatch manager, so basically they input the damage returns and which products are, have been like taken from the market. They input the quantity, and there is two prices there. One is like TP price, trade price, and one is like MRP price. Because with their agency and their like distributors, they deal with the like trade price. So because when the damage are returned, so it needs to be ma like uh, reconciled with the trade price. So. Uh, because it is very important because for the invoicing, because the damaged products price, it needs to be basically adjusted with the invoice. So now I am going to the next slide. So when they finally invoice to the customers and what have been received, so they come to the basically invoice. So you can see the basically this is the orders and if there is any damage, so there is another block which is marked. 
So in the damage, the, the damage return quantity, basically these are the less and the, the net amount can be adjusted with the specific sales order. So that's how basically it is like, ease, like uh, becoming easy for them to basically manage the cash, to manage the return and manage the sales order. Okay, so for the manufacturing part, so in product, so because as I told that their products are manufactured in multiple manufacturing locations. So for that, in product, we like define a like source warehouse. So which products needs to be produced in which manufacturing sections. So here we like for the manufacturing sections, basically we uh, like uh, we have considered those as a separate warehouse. So and we select those in the product center. And when we basically create like create a demand summary, so we can see wh which are the products. Because in the demand summary, all the products are there for a specific uh, like sales type or a specific date. Because all the products are there. Like if there is thousand product, all the thousands products are there. But out of these thousand product, it like like first five hundred needs to be product in manufacturing section one and needs to be two. So to ease the solutions, so we have created like part so like we call uh, to internal transfer there you can see and okay we we have option so we create a memo uh, ammo so when we create a ammo the system automatically creates the manufacturing order based on their manufacturing locations so user like basically need not to think so where which product needs to be manufactured he just create a demand summary and create a ammo. The system automatically basically creates the ammo based on the product. So since the manufacturing sections are linked with the warehouse manager, so the specific warehouse manager, they can see so which are the products they need to manufacture. So when they create on the ammo, so based on this, so there are like if there is two manufacturing order needed, so you can see that there is two internal transfer is uh, like already happened. And so, the, and then it goes to the manufacturing section. So, and then they can basically, the respective manufacturing department, they can go for the manufacture and basically it will automatically transfer to the uh, finished goods and inventory. So uh, this was uh, the basically total solution and all other accounting and these are uh, as is. So we said this is the, this is the customization part of what we have done, and Agbrio was basically uh, they incorporated 33 companies with the same database. So and it is host um, and it was basically uh, like running smoothly on multiple companies, and we are also using multi companies uh, with this. And the uh, one like important part was that there was like internal transfer because they have flour mills also. So which flour mills, they produce the flowers, and which is the raw material of the bakeries. So in that case, they have to basically transfer the raw materials from one to another, and they have like financial transaction also. And, uh, and another important part was that uh, for the accounting. So basically to accumulate or consolidate the whole accounting solution of the like, whole companies. And, and we, we also managed this. And, and for the pause, so they have like 20 pause uh, on separate sections. So like not in on like one building. So it was like segregated in the like whole city. So we all, they were also using the pause randomly with their like uh, regular sales order. So all these sales data and the reporting. So basically this was uh, like managed uh, like properly with the like help of uh, like as is auto. And where needed with customizations, we do this, but we always try to uh, basically avoid the customizations. But what, whatever, wherever we made, basically we always try to follow the auto standard process. And we do some like scrutinize and just we just map with the auto. So this process, so we did it and we'll just map with auto. So uh, that's all, so uh, basically about our case studies. So. So thank you for your time and listening. So if you have any question, I think you can ask. Thank you. Thank you, Anupam. So is there anyone who has any questions?
Yes, yes. Hi. Hi. You, you mentioned something about, uh, so, sorry, it's not very technical, uh, du double uh, counting. Uh, could, could you please elaborate a little bit? What does it mean? Double uh, accounting? Yes, for accounting you have it uh, parallel accounting or something like that. Uh, no, basically Odoo has like multi-company solution, uh, like they have multi-company solutions. Basically they incorporate their 33 companies in the same solutions. So in that case, so for the accounting purpose, some companies like produce the raw materials, like they have flour mills. So flour mills, they basically, they produce the flowers uh, from their wheat in the, like their factory. And when the basically bakery department, they need flowers, so basically they raise internal requisition to the flower, uh, like flower, flower uh, factory, and they basically transfer. So there was an inter-transfer warehouse. Uh -huh. So you, so you, you, but basically the, your client is doing accounting from Odoo, yes? Yes, yes, yes. And it's localized, uh, etc. Okay. So in Bangladesh, so Odoo does not have any standard accounting localizations, but uh, we have specific chart of accounts for their business, and all the products are mapped uh, in the like uh, from Odoo. So we have localization chart of accounts and the journals. So it, it is basically running with the as is auto. Uh -huh. So there is no more customization in the accounting part. Thank you. Thank you. Any other questions? No? Then I think we can call it a day. Thank you, Anupam. Okay. Thank you. Thank you.